CT. Does it freeze? That Uros. Rev that Uros. Let me let it make me pay. Does it freeze? Until, unless you rev that Uros, I'm not even going to greet you. Uros. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, he needs no introduction. He dragged me to this. If we get into trouble this night, just know he started it. That's him. He started it. <laughs> Nigeria would disbelieve you. They already know you are the troublemaker. Ah, when it comes to <laughs> fresh today, eh? I'm on that taste good bud soup. We like say the work. Oh. Which and I'm not yeah. need for rest. What fish did you eat today? Oh, Funny, to be very honest, I ate grilled turkey. That taste was, I have to ask her, where do you get your turkey from that it tastes different from other people's turkey? <laughs> uh, taste buds? Hmm. Is the so, best. the topic today is Peter Obi fans need to chill out. Try uh, this topic, eh? You know, uh, sorry, I'm getting ready, YouTube. I didn't want to delay you. I said, you know what? Let me bring you on live. You know, uh, then I can start the YouTube and uh, Facebook and everybody else that wants to join live. TikTok is already live. Okay, so it's just YouTube and um, Facebook. I wanted to go. Okay. I, Facebook. All right. Someone said, is this Peter Obi? This is not Peter Obi. This is Peter, o o Peter Oba. Peter Toby. Peter Toby. He too Toby. is Obi. He's Peter. Uh, Obi. Most... Peter um... <laughs> okay, Daddy Freeze, let me first of all say something. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Someone just said Pastor Toby is abroad, blah, blah, blah. Look, let me say something to you. I'm more qualified than most people that are in Nigeria to talk about politics. Hmm. I've got thousands of grassroots people in the north. I'm talking about Kano to Kaduna to Shokoto to my Duguri, people that I'm still talking to tonight from um, orphanages to market women. Not to now talk of the Yoruba state that I'm from, from the Sunday Bowls of this world, who I still speak to. Mm. So, uh, then go to the East. So if people say, well, you know, you're just, you're in abroad, what does that mean? So uh, Nigeria problem didn't start today. I left Nigeria in 2005. Mm. Mm. Of Nigerians' problem. Like, oh, you people, you people be abroad don't know what we are going through here. Yeah, right. We didn't drop from the heavens, okay? So chill. Mm. I sound like I'm on smoke tonight, but I'll be cool. I'll, 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 um... Pity, be on fire. I need you to be on fire. Wipe the lens, the front lens of your camera. I okay. think you must... Uh, right. Me, I use a hand to touch my own, so... So I, I want to see you clear. Did I, did I use so you? Uh, Peter Obi. This is Peter T. Obi. Peter Toby. <laughs> is it better? A lot better. I can see you clearly now. Nice. Okay. I, I want to I want to share my take, and then I want to hand over to you. Okay. Although Pastor Toby is not ground in Nigeria, like he said, he is more qualified than I am because of the amount of charity work that he does. Right now, he's building a hospital in Cross River State, um, working with Ubi Franklin, who released the photos of the foundation, despite the fact that Ubi Franklin uh, did not win his primaries, he's still nonetheless building in as far as Cross River State. The Free Nation has no charity work. We are based in Nigeria. We have no charity work that reaches Cross River State. But here's Pastor Toby building hospital there. So he is very qualified to speak. He's not one of those Nigerians that stay abroad and look for trouble in Nigeria. We know those ones. Do you understand? We're not trying to agitate the polity. We're not trying to 
um, we're not trying to cause any friction or confusion. We are just talking about glaring issues from our perspective. Now, Pastor Toby, I need to say something here. Yeah. If Nigerians want you to say red Ferrari car, if you say red sports car, you are in trouble. Right. If you say car, you are in trouble. As long as you don't say it exactly the way they want to hear it, yeah. they would say you are against them. I want to yeah. talk a little bit about Peter Obi. Go for it. Because Peter I don't know much about him, though. So, please go Thank for it. But I have my personal issues with him, just like I have with all the candidates. I like Wiki. I have issues with him, too. I like uh, Tinubu. I also have issues with him. I like Atiku. I also have issues with him. Now, my issue with Peter Obi is, is this government that we are shouting up and now, is it not supposed to be for the youths? Right. The youth. Mm. If we really care about the youth, we should be talking about Mogalu, Shobore, uh, Feladro Toye. Those are our youths. Peter Obi is 60 years old. As a matter of fact, Peter Obi is older than Wike. Wike is 59. Peter Obi is 60. Yahaya Belo is 47. So if we really are talking about the youth, we should be talking about the Yahaya Bello and Wike. They are the youngest. Right. Point okay. Point two. Personally, I see Wike doing a lot more. Anybody telling me shut up, your papa for how shut up. Yeah, baba, shut up. <laughs> you feel see. Come, come, if no be internet, we bring us together. Where I go still block you, where you go still chop rapture this night. Me and you, they work out for the same street. Where if you see me, tell me shut up. That, is, that means he said you won't cause trouble. He said I'll be trouble. I'm not, but name might be Penny. Ashiri. Party rule. Ori live, let me I tell you what the deck belly live, right? Collect your blocking, collect your blocking, collect your blocking. You see, I don't tell you, say these people know they won't hear word. Me, if I were Peter Obi, I would not have left PDP. Mm. I have fought for a vice presidency. Mm. Me, not that he doesn't have a chance with the, with the Labour Party, mm. but mm. I don't see him winning in the Labour Party. Mm. Mm. Problem number one. Right. He, with the way you went to the Labour Party and Utomi and them stepped up, that's a good move. That's a lion move. I'm happy for him there. But I still personally would have believed that Peter Obi would have made more impact if he had stayed and entered from the vice presidency angle, which is what Wike will do. Just sit down here and watch. Mm. Pastor Obi, me and you suppose bet. Say Wike, no go chase presidency again now. At this stage, He's just going to look at, come, Atiku, let me be your vice president. Mm. Mm. Now, you have to understand that Wike is as important for his people as Peter Obi is for his own people. Right. Ibo. Nyesom Wike is reverse. Yeah. Just remember that Ibo is only a portion of Nigeria. And Ibo does not speak for South-South. Yeah. Oh, does not speak for Bayelsa, does mm. not speak for Kras, does not mm. speak for Krosa, does not speak for Akwaibom, does not speak mm. for Benu. Mm. So, Nyesom Wike has as much a chance as Peter Obi. Mm. Mm. When we're talking of rallying his people. Yeah. Because you, Peter Obi is loved by the evils. Great thing. Nyesom Wike is also going to be pushed forward by his own people. Mm. So that's already a divided vote there. They yeah. are both but Wiko is even younger. So Wiko is more on our side, even though it's just one year. If we are really talking about youth among all of them, now you're higher below. Yeah. Okay. Belo is older than me. I'm 46. So he's between 46 and 49. He's not up to 50. Yeah. So 
let's leave this oh this government is for the youth this government is for the people that want to push the i now on that oh i understand Igbo presidency yes the Igbos are due for a presidency right i will that they are due for a presidency but yeah. are they going about it with peter will be the right way the match is too young to tell yeah. i also want to raise another issue okay go for Please it go. good peter will be is good mm. we all agree but right. is peter will be work alone is he going to be the minister all the ministers is he going to be all of them he is he going to step inside all the shoes mm. Is he not going to work with these same Nigerians? Mm. Mm. So, at the end of the day, you people need to be careful. Because it get the way you go push Peter Obi. Peter Obi go get there. And then Nigeria there. And Peter Obi is also known for one thing. Resigning when things don't... When he's, a, he's, he's an honest man. I give that to him. But mm. sometimes the matter past honesty. Mm. And when matter when he bend go one side if he's saying resign so mm. imagine him there then one year later he says you know what i resign <laughs> <laughs> mm. so these mm. are all the issues and my dear fans of peter will be mm. i have never seen a more as if i know they won't hear anything nobody is saying peter will be does not deserve it nobody's saying peter not good but can we talk politics it's like man you going to play against man city it's not man you going to play against shooting stars club mm. man you is a good team playing against another good team mm. let us discuss football let us yeah. anybody can emerge a winner don't make it look like if it's not peter will be the whole country will be upside down no mm. we have not talked about apcu Remember, PDP don't submit their own candidates. Mm. Now, Labour Party don't submit their own candidates. We never talk APC. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. that's one point. No, they are very, they are very powerful, valid points. Very, very good points, yeah. Um, we've said it. Uh, Nigeria, I've been active in politics. I'm 40, 41. I'll be 41 in November, 42 in November. Been active since Abiola days, 1993. Um, and like you said, Nigerians, especially the youth, <laughs> Nigeria youth, we, we're not going to agree with something because, and the reason they are right. I don't see any of the candidate right now, forefront candidate, I don't see any of them as incapable. Issue is, like you said on Sunday, who can win the election? That's the fact. So who win the election? Who can win the election? And that's going to be based on certain facts, not just our desire for certain revolution. We all want certain revolutions. So I think when people talk about youth, they are not just talking about age. They are talking about newness, something fresh something different now something fresh something different and all that you have to look at certain facts behind it finances mm. to put people together to unify the country so the moment um. uh, so the, the the moment you're going for a certain ethnic group you're already disunifying the country so it's got to be it's spread across someone that has track record, proven record, continuity. There has to be continuity. If you are talking about winning election and you're talking about governing a country like Nigeria, more than 250 languages, you're talking about, you, you have to look at continuity. What this person did over time. Most of the people that would attack on the internet and all that, I'm, I, I'm telling you now, most of the things they will say, they are, they are non-factual. These are beer parlor talks. Which makes me wonder about Nigeria. It's like everything just keeps going down. It's not the governance. It's not the leaders first. It's the people. Because the, 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 the leaders are from the people. So 
Based things on fact, continuity is important in one winning election because you've been with certain people over time. They've seen your character, proven character under pressure. You cannot have a leader who resigns under certain pressure. Nigeria is what it is. Otherwise, we're all going to keep saying, we want to change this overnight. Reality will soon dawn on us. It will dawn on us that it really doesn't work like that. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. Each time we see people, we say, yeah, that's a, the Messiah. No, Messiahs are based on facts right now. So when people like us say, whoever we support, we're going to give X amount, we're going to do this, that, 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 that. I'm, go and check. I'll never say something that I, do, I, I won't do. Sorry, Pastor, sorry, 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 to cut, sorry to cut you. A lot of people are saying, Ted, okay. um, uh, Peter Obi resigned. Peter Obi did not resign. He was impeached. It's a known fact. And why was he impeached? You see, we need to start putting sentiments to one side. No Nigerian can save Nigeria. Some can run the economy better than others, but no Nigeria. And let me tell you what I have to show that this is proof. The same good luck, Jonathan, that we all kicked out of office, that we all said he messed up. And this is the same Jonathan a lot of people are going to beg now. They are begging, as in they are literally begging Jonathan now. Just to show you that Nigeria, and you see this, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan, Somebody mentioned it to me over a year ago, a friend of mine who is politically inclined. He said, they are, just watch, Jonathan is going to come into the guy. I say, impossible. But what yeah, I'm on. saying, you see, what I, I what he does yeah. to do with is, why was Peter Obi impeached? Not because he stole, not because he was, because of the Nigerian factor. He has to deal with Nigerians, you and I. It's not like Peter Obi is coming to lead Peter Obi's. He's not coming to lead people like him. He's coming to lead people like us, we get coconut head. Sorry, Pastor Toby, I just had to put that. No, um, no, no. Point. Someone said in England where you are, is that how you do it? Um, this is the problem, yeah? You, England, you want to compare England politics without the wrong politics in Nigeria. I, I don't get it. The rationale behind that question is is actually is faulty. Let me just use that word to be to be to be civil. It's quite faulty. You, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Nigerian democracy is about twenty two years old. Nineteen ninety three till date, that's twenty two or whatever accurate number that is. So you cannot practice or begin to think about democracy in Nigeria like England. How is that possible? It makes no sense. So when people say things like this, it's worrisome. Nigeria is Nigeria. England is England. You, wanna, you, want, <laughs> you want PDP to be Conservative Party or APC to be Labour. Civil, talking through things and not using people or money or continuity. It makes no sense. So that question is completely invalid. It's 1999 we're growing, we're evolving. Our politics will evolve, and that's what it is. So again, I think that the freeze has more information about the person is mentioning more than me, way more than me. But all I'm saying is, for me, for this election, I'm looking at two parties, like almost every country in the world runs. It will be awesome to see a third force, a fourth force, some new parties coming up. But leadership is not about age. It's about continuity. It's about track record. It's about how you work under pressure. It's not about how you quit. Say, well, I can't do this because these people are so corrupt. No, it's capacity. Do you have capacity to absorb all the fault of the country in its current state? So that when you leave, I don't think anybody's eight years will change Nigeria. But when you leave, we've evolved. We've moved forward a little bit more. So when people keep saying, oh, this person imposes that person, this person imposes that person, we're in democracy. Democracy has different forms. 
and manifestations. We are 22 year old democracy. Let me put you to the chase. Um, because what brought me to do this live was the reactions we've been getting on Peter Obi, the fact that people believe he is Nigeria's Messiah. Do you think he's Nigeria's Messiah? I don't think Nigeria has a Messiah. Even the Messiah couldn't save Nigeria. <laughs> the real Messiah. Right now. Secondly, Messiah. secondly I, now listen, oh, listen, oh, I'm watching all of you. I, would re I don't mind removing 500 out of the 1,000 until we get the same population of commenters. Don't let's remove anybody to that. The, but what I'm, I don't think. Ready for them. Pity. Yeah. You see? I don't like, this election is reminding me of Donald Trump. You all are going to come and shout Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, and people are going to vote behind for Donald Trump. We saw it happen. No, there are, there, there, how many voters are online that the freeze? Oh, bless you. Right Only now, if election is held on Twitter, Peter will be a win. No doubt. Landslide <laughs> victory. If this election held on Twitter, Peter Obi will win landslide. Are we thinking about those people that are not on social media? Those people agitating. Let me ask you, I don't want to go into specifics. What I need, the, the thing, my own thing for tonight's talk, before we even talk about APC, PDP, Labour Party, and what not is Peter Obi fans should stop bullying other people. I don't have a preferred, as I am now, I don't have a preferred candidate and I don't have a candidate I don't like. Right. I think yeah. the younger generation is better than the older generation. But yeah. right now, I'm looking at the pros and the cons of all sides. Let me choose. Forcing Peter OB, oh, it must be Peter OB. If you're not, look, just go to Facebook and read comments. Oh, he has to be, if you're not talking about Peter OB, you're not making sense. Let me tell you, if I want your views, if I want to eat money off your views, I'll just come and say, oh, it's Peter OB, it's Peter OB, it's Peter OB. The day of the election, I go and vote who I want to vote. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he said, oh, yeah, experience rapture. Kokok ba, no kokok ba, rapture, no komalo ba. Sharp, sharp rapture. One more time. You don't collect rapture. Straight, 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 straight. Talk nonsense, talk nonsense. Quick, quick, quick. Collect na na. So listen to this. Why are you discouraging your followers to be negative about Obi? How are we discouraging anybody to be negative, encouraging anybody to be negative about Obi? How? Because we are not, listen, as long as I'm not here saying vote Peter Obi, vote Peter Obi, it means I don't like Peter Obi. <laughs> this is the thing. Why are we talking about Peter Obi? Because Peter Obi is trending. Same thing as Wiki. These are people that are trending. We need, listen, if you like, hey, who supports Tinubu inside this house? I want mm -hmm. to see if there supports us here. Somebody say, I hate you. Don't worry. I don't hate you. I will just block you. Collect your blocking. Sharp, 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 sharp. Block Tonya Johnson. Sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Sorry, back, 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 back. Go late. Who likes Tinubu here? Nobody go dare talk. Who likes Tinubu here? Atiku. If you like Atiku, just type Atiku. If you like Tinubu, type at Tinubu. Just type, like, why can you not, as long as you are not mentioning OB, in fact, you know what? I'm voting for Showare. Finish. I want a youth. Showare has fought for this country reported, repeatedly. She beat his youth we want. Oh yeah, vote Showare. Abi, it is youth we all want. Black Mentor is here. By the way, join Black Mentor and I tomorrow this time. <laughs> We're going to have a session. <laughs> Look forward to it. Pity, sorry for disturbing you. No, Let's no, no, no. It's gone. I, I've got... I, 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 talk. Let people who like Tinubu talk, even if they are wrong. Is this really a democracy? It's like, unless you say Peter, that's why I said the title of this message is Peter will be fans need to calm down. We are not saying Peter will be is bad. Ooh. We're just saying you guys calm down. No, but it will be bad to carry this thing and train it on social media and somebody else will go and win and then they'll say they rigged it. Yes, but 
But the thing is, election is about not coming down. Um, it, it, people have to fight for what they believe. But the problem is, if you if you bully somebody else because of their beliefs, I think that is why democracy most times don't work in Africa. Someone just said, "Now um, you 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 say that I want, it's I want an Igbo president, PT Namdi Kanu. Let's bring Namdi Kanu forward." He's we we, my, we want a pre, we we want a president. I would say Igbo or Yoruba. We want presidents that have continuity. We want people who understand the 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 act of raising people. People will understand how to generate money for their people. So we are not talking about government that can save money, like Yaradua's government. Yaradua Yaradua was a it doesn't spend. It holds money. Yeah, but the problem is then you have a spendthrift government that came after him. So we want a government that knows how to make people prosperous and things like that. So again, anybody's fan have the right to pressure. They have to fight. They have to do all that. But when it comes to the field, we will see. We would see. We were once upon a time young, if I may use that word, young in Nigeria, fighting for certain candidacy because we believe once this guy wins, yeah, everything is going to change because he's an anti-corruption man. He's this. He has his stance. We've been supporting the current president for years until he got there, and we realized that this guy, he does not know how to fit the right people into the right place. He doesn't yeah. know. So now, when some of us are saying that we have to go back to continuity what you've seen people do you have to look at those things so when people were telling us then that look this guy's continuity is not accurate we said no 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 he's going to fight corruption he's going to make sure but then there's no money and now the government is ending and you're looking at the the scale of corruption is even like it's worse oh the scale of corruption right now is worse it's unbelievable. So we're all going to have this situation where a normal, typical Nigeria, and even those who are saying uh, our government is not these, our uh, democracy is that the, how they practice it in Europe. Let me tell you, in normal, in normal Nigeria, yeah, where there is less education, democracy is more difficult. A black man does not research anything. Black men don't research. They pray or they point fingers. They're not going to check. And that's how Africa became the dumping ground of the world. They just dump any information on us. So now we're going to work with facts, track records. That's what we're going to work with. If we don't do that, we're going to go for another try and error. It's try and error. Track record, Pastor Toby. Let me put you in the hot seat. Who do you think has the track record to run Nigeria? Uh, let me, I can tell you 10 right now. 10. From let me care. For me, I'm not going to talk about any third party. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mention any name. I'm not going to do that because I believe they are all good people. But they, and you, there is no. I don't. I'm thinking of major, um, major people running this race. I don't think there's any team that I've not met. Okay. Uh huh. So from the. From whoever is northerner to um, southerner to whatever, whatever else. I've met them all. Track record, um, um, Waziri Atiku Abubakar was the vice president of Nigeria under President Obasanjo. Um, I've met President Obasanjo two days. President Obasanjo was with me. I didn't like when he won. We were all supporting Olufala then. But Obasanjo worked. We have to give but, that up. But, yeah, but, but, but because of sentiment, this is what I'm saying that we've seen this, these things before. Because of sentiment, because Obasanjo looked like he was more with the military and all that we needed from the side of the country that I was from, we needed a fresh person who was never in the system. And we thought, Falai, Falai, Falai. That's who we were supporting then. I was, imagine how young I was then. I was advocating. I remember that election. And um, at a point, there was even a, a, a debate that Falai won OBJ. 
Uh, oh yeah. I think because they Falai had his um uh he had a very strong economic understanding and base and he, he was, was he was uh an economist if I remember it, clearly. It, it, that's what I wanted to say. That in articulation in brain in what makes sense, yeah. Fal and economically Falai was better in wit and the and the theory of everything but the issue is this now growing up this is about 20 years after growing up i'm realizing that it it, it would be that been difficult for him because the, there are there are candidates that can do well in a western world like people said now is that they practice it in in england or or france or all these places yes if those people are in these places they will be fine because there's already a structure so to put your ideology to work in a country like nigeria it takes more than just ideas and intelligence so there are there are candidates right now who have the intelligence and all of that but when you look at nigeria <laughs> When you look at Nigeria as a, the, the difficult ground that it has become, you need more than economic sense and wit. You need those. So what Obasujo did was, now looking back, of course, I've come to appreciate the things that Obasujo did. Let me tell you, one of the things, the first question I asked um, President Obasujo was, everybody from my side of the country we were all asking for constitutional conference. Why didn't you do it? Because it made sense. It made sense at the time. These things are on video. It made somebody sense. Somebody said supports article. Say that again. Pastor, somebody just commented that the pastor, that's you, supports article. I support yeah. the two major parties. Whoever the two major parties, except for one, I'll support one of the two major parties because you have to support one person at the end of the day it makes no sense there is no there most people running from no no not most many people running on the platform of pdp or apc we've given them resources finances and time in the uk i'm tired so, i have to say who i want who do you want and i'm gonna say it now tell me I'm who do you want you want to cause trouble to that pass the, the, the freeze. I want everywhere to catch fire. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I officially drum roll. Wait, wait for the drum roll. The drum. <laughs> I officially declare my support for. Guys, guess, 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 guess. Daddy Freeze. I no. officially, publicly, with Pastor uh, Toby right here, I officially, I might change my wait, mind wait, later wait, during the wait, game. Wait. Allow me to announce. Wait, one minute. Daddy Freeze hasn't told me this before, so I'm just going to hear it for the first time. For the first so, time. Oh, yeah. Peter will be. <laughs> you, you've chosen great. You've chosen well. It is. Peter will be fans, chill. I want us to win people to Peter will be without bullying them. That is why I came out <laughs> antagonizing Peter Obi. Because I want people to be able to choose him, not because everybody... You know, let me tell you, it's annoying when we know... Do you know Peter Obi has no EFCC record? Peter Obi can do this thing. You see? And I believe he can actually win. But let us not bully other people people to choose this person that we like let us make them see reason i've removed fellow peter obi supporters this night <laughs> simply because you are bullying people this does not mean i cannot change my mind tomorrow but as of now my candidate is peter obi and 
I wanted to talk about all the things. Youth, he's not. Corrupt, he's not. Integrity, he has. And so many other things. He might not win, but that's the person that as of today. Pastor Toby, I don't say you could follow me five because me and you don't talk this one. No, 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 sir. There's no fight in democracy. That's your... That's you see, this, this dude here, he's my brother. He's still going to love me, even if I vote anybody else. Do you know that the whole, they were hate, 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 vex, vex, vex on my face, but everything just turned to like. Must we like the same people? Let, let Can't me, I like that Peter is... Obi? Somebody else likes Atiku. I like Peter Obi, and I want him to win. Let's make him win not by hey 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 if you don't win Peter Obi we will we, we, we cut your head no okay Let's so then love I've chosen my own Pastor Obi before we uh, 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 I say Peter Obi Pastor Toby before we leave today you must choose your own no 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 I won't but let me <laughs> say this let me say this Democracy... somebody appointed in me don't be don't lie are you disappointed how this is democracy that's your choice. But you know the power of this, though. You know the power of this. What's that? I say, when the time comes, in a few weeks, I will say who we are supporting. And the good thing is, you, Daddy Freeze, yeah, I will make a phone call to you and say, you know what, Daddy Freeze, give me, wait, oh, wait, oh. And you will say wait, it and I will for you and we'll hug each other because we love one another. Uh, but wait, uh, not even just hug. Not the only hug. Then I would say, I'm trying to raise five million dollars for the person. Buddy Freeze, give me hundred k. Straight Nine up, forgive me. Straight up, yeah. you are so, my brother, and I uh -huh. know that you will not have our money inside where is bad. Free nation, we come on contribution. So, okay, that, oh, this is this candidate. So for me, for me, that agreement, I'm good because whoever I'm supporting, I'm just saying Baba or Mama, whoever. This is five million on the table, and I know how to raise it. So you have the right to support who you're supporting and put all your resources into it. We also will say this is where we're going. Nigerians, there is no is you telling me about internet movement for someone. I don't care about, I mean, with due respect to internet people, um, due respect, and I love what you guys are doing, no matter how much you abuse that if it's on me. For me, I just think it's all love, but for me when it comes to where to test the power out, money, yeah? Money to support, no be mouth, or money. Wait and see what would happen. So I respect your choice. I respect your choice. And, um, but again, if I ask you for 100K, people, you they hear now, Daddy Freeze is saying he support this. Oh, he will give me money to wherever okay. I'm so. Well, let me tell you why <laughs> people Why people don't burn bridges? Mm. This is my candidate, but the other candidates are my friends. Yeah, and that's good. That, yeah, 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 no I don't that's, have to have enemies in power for the next eight years. You're a Democrat. That's why I love you. You're a Democrat. Straight up. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, if Tinubu wins, I will show him the support a Nigerian needs to show his president. And I pray he, he will work well. If Atiku wins, the same thing. If Peter Obi wins, I'll be dancing on the street doing like this. Eh, eh, I will dance to an umbra on the road. I'll be going one by one, one by one, one by one. But you see, whoever wins, it's not the party, it's not the president, mm -hmm. it's the country that's, that we need to work on. Yeah. I, again, that so, is the... It's not about... It, it will... it now. So you can see that we are, we are not... We are, I just need us to stop bullying. Let us stop. Let us win people over with love. That's right. Everybody will support who they want. Whoever wins, and that is it. Uh, whoever we support, we win. So me and you, we don't debate now, but on a very good friendship, whoever we support will win hands down, like landslide. <laughs> so, but, Toby, like I said, I might cross carpet at the end of the day. If I see, say, <laughs> where I see, hope no day there. We don't shout. Don't, don't cross carpet. Like, like, cross money. Don't cross carpet. Don't cross see me for your London one morning. I go just day here. They scratch me. Say, Pastor Toby. <laughs> <laughs> don't cross carpet. Cross money. Stay with Abga.
<laughs> whatever that party is. Stay no, with no, that funny. Labor. <laughs> but to be honest, mm. I need to say this. In as much as people don't like Atiku, mm. Atiku has the capacity to make things change in this country. So mm. does Bola Tinubu. The fact that I'm choosing Peter O.B. is for many reasons. One, he's accountable. One, uh, another reason is they've never given his, his tribe the opportunity to rule this country before. It will give Nigeria a sense of unity Nigeria never had. Peter Obi is also very principled and disciplined. Does not mean Tinubu cannot walk. Who. I live in Lagos. I saw Tinubu's Lagos walk. I will tell you for free. Tinubu, forget this one that his hand is shaking. His brain is straight too. As you're looking at that old man, his brain is fireworks. I saw how he fix the economy of Lagos State. He might not be my preferred candidate, but I want to assure you today that if that man enters office, let me be very honest, Nigeria has a lineup that is enviable. They might be old and they might not be our choices. That's why we need to respect each other. Let's do this in love. If somebody loves people, raise your hand. If somebody loves Atiku here, raise your hand. Let's make Nigeria better, all of us. And whoever eventually enters, let us support them. Me and P.O. Shah, and you are P.T. So we don't be close. That is freeze. <laughs> Again, the, to be honest, you will still cross carpet. Either the carpet, you don't even know what carpet I'm on. It might be um, the man you've been mentioning. It might be... However... however However, all I'm saying is we're not going to support try and error again. It's not going to be another season of let's try and see. No, because we've had relatively Nigerian definition of young. We've had relatively young president before. People will say somebody is sick, somebody is not sick. Um, Roosevelt was on wheelchair. Uh, um, um, what's this other guy called the scientist? Um, Hawkins was on wheelchair, so no be leg Nigeria need, no be hand where they fight boxing Nigeria need. We need a brain that works, but that's not even an issue for now. When that issue comes, people are asking, Would you support? Would you support? I will come out and tell you, you know, why I can't be afraid to tell you know why. Because people will think, oh, he's dodging it. Let me tell you why I cannot be afraid to tell you. I'm not making anything from Nigeria. I can avoid Nigeria for eight years. It won't do anything to me because what would a president do to me now? Give me money to buy a car? What car? What would be the car that we've not seen? Maybe the one you sent me yesterday, Sha. I will need the for that this, car. Any president that buys me Uros now, that's my new guy. I love it. I'll, I'll just, send you euros. If now you're higher below, tomorrow you know, I'm going to higher below. I don't. <laughs> about me, I don't suffer away okay, for this night. I don't follow you for marble arch. Me and Davis Nigeria, and we're everything they own. <laughs> what color? What color do you want? Now that blue, before that black, I want that blue. But if they get black, I don't go turn them down. <laughs> <laughs> and if they put tributo, I go naked where that person name for my body they walk up for the road. Like <laughs> I say, this our car. Tributo. <laughs> eh? Let's let's confirm that the free send that red tributo. Straight, eh? Straight up. I'll just come and say Peter will be guys. You know, I chose Peter will be first. It's just that this car we I drive with don't they confuse my brain, no. <laughs> <laughs> But to me, these are interesting times. I was saying this to you, Pastor Toby, when we're talking, I think yesterday or the day before. We, we happen to talk almost every day now. Yes. My wife was like, you, every time you must have a big conversations. Friend. My wife said, Pastor Toby is now your best friend. I said, leave me and Pastor Toby. <laughs> <laughs> they always get one thing to gist about. You see, I was telling you, 
about how interesting for the first time in my life normally politics is okay it was i'm interested i i i want to see the inner workings the manufacture of of, of this um uh political game i want to see if a lone ranger because whether you like it or not peter Obi is a lone ranger i want to see the chance a lone ranger has i want to see if an obama upstage can happen but at the same time i want to see tinubu's power i want to see Tinubu play the game he's so well versed at. Then I also still want to see Atikwa. So what, do, what does he have in store? That Tambua move to me was as in if I saw Atikwa that night, I would lie down prostrate for him and say, Atikwa. <laughs> is sheer. How do you, how, as in, how do you play chess to that level? Now, that is- Commend Wiki. Yeah, go on. How we can drag it with Atiku to that level? Atiku was on 300 and something points. Wiki was on 200 and something points. That is genius. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, enjoying the game. I don't want us to truncate it. I don't want it to be a one horse race. Eh, it's only this horse. If this horse does not win, the race is over. No. I want to see Nigerians actually go and vote their favorites and let the best man win. Let God's choice for Nigeria. I know people now say that if it should be the same person saying, let's leave prayer and let's leave God out of it and go. Out. Yes, but God has a choice candidate. And I want that choice candidate to win, even if it's not my candidate. Pastor, to, Pastor Absolutely, you're correct, and I, I I subscribe to that thought. Issue is this: let's face realities. Yeah, we all know what we want the ideal Nigeria to be, but we don't live in an ideal world. We don't. So everybody has the right to fight for whatever candidate they believe in, but when it comes to the test of it, one thing stands out: politics is about people. Some candidates in the last primaries, yeah, some candidate brought in money at the last minute. They brought in a lot of state money to fight something. But the other candidates won because it's about people, how long you've been with people. Nigeria practices, we practice foundation differently. You see the Oyibo man, he will set up foundation, he will donate to the foundation. For us in Nigeria right now, the way we practice um, uh, foundation is what Free Nation is doing. You go to local places, you are with people. So you mm. cannot be in isolation. People don't even know where you live. Talk less of eating in your house 24-7. All these ones you are saying, they are ideologies and they are good. But there are people feeding people that cannot afford to come on the internet now 24-7. Those people are the ones that we vote. Mm. So they are feeding them, they are paying people school fees, they are doing stuff. Let me tell you something. Either people want to abuse Pastor Toby or not. Number one, um, grassroots is where our home power is. The most sophisticated system could not uproot me, as, as sophisticated as they are, because of grassroots. So I understand grassroots in Nigeria. People are caring for people right now. They are feeding them. They are helping them, not because politics is at hand. No. But they are feeding them 24-7. Whereas... Other people are fighting on the internet. You're already, look, the internet people with due respect, yeah? The people Nigeria need right now to help, they are not the ones on the internet right now. I just spoke to people in Kano right now. If you see suffering and that it is suffering, young people, 3,000 young people. If you see suffering in the north, you, you fear God. All those are the people that would either vote get good people with good intention and that knows the game to come in and begin to change their life little by little, or they will become the terrorist group. So we can be, these ideologies are good. Somebody has this idea, that idea, that, that, that. All good. Well done. It's all good. And Nigeria will become that. We will thrive on ideologies eventually, but we are still evolving. Hmm. Mm. Now, 
let's talk about the good sides of all the political candidates, at least the ones that we know are coming forward, which are three candidates so far, Obi, Tinubu. <laughs> so I say defeat us with words. What, there is no, you don't even know what's that. I mean. So there's no us versus you. So no, that's I, what Chris is saying. Once you start us, that we're means we're we are fighting them. That's the recipe for losing. That's a loser's way. I can tell you, I suspect where Pastor Toby is leaning towards, but I don't know. Even <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I they see him, they, they bend, go one side. Where, where am I leaning toward? Um, right now, it looks like Peter will be, but <laughs> I'm also suspecting... This is so cerebral. It's so... You, you use words. You are a pastor, then you are not a... You are both, so you... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 I see, I, I just see, like I said, let's talk about all the candidates. Um, we have Tinubu Shibajo for APC. We've, we don't have an APC candidate yet. We have 28, sir. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, but we have 28. No, no candidate yet, but we have 28. Okay. Or they have. Now, Atiku is PDP. Yes. And OB is a uh, Labour Party. 100. Mm. Let's talk about these two people. Let's talk about their good sides. Um, let's introduce people to their good sides. For Peter OB does not need much introduction. Everybody knows Peter OB's strengths. Let's talk a little bit about Atiku's strengths now. What do you consider, Pastor Toby, Atiku's biggest strength? Okay, you, again, I've sat with his core, uh, well, maybe core or not core, but with his team. I'll just use that because I'm probably, um, I think he has a mind for young people, and which is my own advocacy. Anyone that we can sit with to negotiate one office for real young people, not the kind of young people that Nigerians are saying we need young, we need young. Real young people who are who have international connect and who have continuity because they've been doing certain things for a while. Um, and he has a high story because remember, as vice president, he was the head of economic team under President Obasanjo. He was the head of economic team. Um, in that team, you have people like Okojo Iwela work there. You have others. I'll just leave it so that I don't want to mention names at all. And so it's a strength he's got to be able to coordinate people because otherwise President Obasanjo would never have made him the head of economic team. So that's a strength. And for me, I would always stand with... Um, ability to spot the right people and put them in the right place. Pastor Toby is campaigning for Atiku. No, Daddy Freeze asked me. I asked the question. I asked the question. I'm also very aware of Atiku's, one of Atiku's strengths, that is privatization. Um, Atiku has run several businesses and run them well. And like you are speaking of continuity, we have seen him run enterprise and we have but, seen but, but, but that's the problem with africa if you bring privatization in an in in a semi-educated africa it will be what's like what the, some people are saying barrel teeth da, 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 because again a, a normal person in our skin does not research we don't research we do, we a, a, an african lives on rumors we live on it. We thrive on it. We, we make our decisions on it. Hence why our continent is the way it is. So there are no, there are no African, major African documentaries talking about animals. We just point to them from a distance. Whereas a white man will go there and see for himself, wait patiently, see for himself. Hence why religion is also, in quote, thriving in Africa because it's about rumors. Someone say, 
I saw an angel yesterday, he told me X, Y, Z. We say, yay, whoo, ah, that's us. That's who we are, unfortunately. So, but a better generation is coming. But the reason why I said that is privatization is one of his major strengths, but it was also one of his major weaknesses. Mm. Uh, we, because, again, you are doing deals. This is money world. Anyone in the money world, you can be accused in a minute. Things turn in a minute. You can try to sell something that will prosper people. Please Preach. go on. No, preach, preach. I'm enjoying yeah. your preach. Name, anything can turn in a minute. So if you don't want things to turn in a minute, just be be an activist. Be an activist, just say, even if you're still in behind, just have the demand of, of an activist. So yes, it went into privatization, which I think helped Nigeria a lot, but with the system we have, that's also his weakness. Mm. Because the day till tomorrow, everything that we say is this, is that, is from that thing. Fantastic. Now let's talk about Peter Obi in your, we've talked about ethical strengths and uh, you also touched on some of his weaknesses. Let, let's put Peter Obi on the grill now. What do you consider his greatest strength? He, he's a new, he's new generation. His new generation, mm -hmm. he um, connects with people. He talks to people. They can see him. He's visible. It doesn't look like a semi-God hidden in a place. He looks, and I use the word looks, accessible. And that's mm -hmm. what I can say from a distance. Mm, 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 mm. Awesome. Now, um, from APC... I also, even though, let me put it this way, um, amongst the contestants in APC, I have a favorite among them. I don't have him as favorite for president, but looking at APC, I have, let me say, I have two favorites. Sorry, someone just hates. Someone just says this pastor hates so, so. But let me just say, I can't hate. I'm not like you. I can't hate someone I don't know. That would be a bit retarded, um, in to be civil of me, to hate someone I don't know. But if you want me to not speak my mind about someone because of your opinion, um, I would think that's unfair to be English. But if I want to be Nigerian, I would have used another word, but it's fine. Now, two of the strongest candidates of the APC, you and I are aware, we're not blind, we're not deaf, we don't live in holes, and we're not from the moon. We're Nigerians, we're connected with Nigeria, um, mm. we understand what is going on. In APC, there are two candidates. Mm. Jagaban, that is mm. Bolat, and Yemi or Shimbajo. Let's talk about their strengths as president. Starting with you, Pastor Toby. You're on the grill right now. I mean, they grill you. Yemi or Shimbajo, what are his strengths? What do you think he has to offer Nigeria? Uh, do you mind if I avoid that? Avoid him? Avoid his... Uh, do you mind, sir? Okay. So, let, the only we have just one person left. Uh, and yeah. to be honest, I have nothing against um, Yemi Oshimbajo. I know he's, he's young. He speaks very well. Uh, I also know he's a man of ideas. Sadly, I don't know him. I think I know Peter Obi more than Yemi Oshimbajo, even though I've never been ruled by Peter Obi. I, I just see Yemi Oshimbajo as too much in the background. My yeah. humble opinion may be wrong. I'm familiar with Atiku. They said you shouldn't forget Amechi. Ah, I just I'm reading your followers. Um, talk at the end of the day, in my humble opinion, I'm wrong, I may be wrong. Sorry, I'm not a political analyst, but I see a Oshiba Jotinubu. That's what I see now. Since you don't want to talk about Oshiba strengths for whatever reason, Pastor Toby, can we talk about Tinubu? Oh, yeah, we what can consider his strengths what does he have to offer nigeria lagos 
he has Lagos to offer Nigeria. Lagos. It's as simple as that. And of course, other people can say this and that, but I know Lagos. If hmm. number one thing in any leadership is one, provide or produce prosperity, raise people. Leadership is about raising finances and distributing it. Then someone will say, it hasn't got to me, but I can, I can sympathize with you because I do a lot of philanthropic work. If you see my dear um, um, Daddy Freeze, I almost called you Reverend Freeze. If you see my dear, it's like people don't care if you are right now taking care of like 10,000 people, as long as it's not them, then you're not doing anything. So not knowing that it takes time for these things to reach everybody. So for me, I'm saying Lagos is a better state. How much was IGR of Lagos before 1999? How much was it? As I speak, it's more than 51 billion naira. So I say raising thugs. You can say whatever you like. You, 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 you have the right to your opinion. But if you're in the same country and you've had three governors that are thugs, good luck to you because you're finished. Not, not just governors from kings to whatever. So I'm just saying that the ability to raise leadership of Ashiwaju is unmatched by any Nigerian or African at the moment. I'm on life, President Obas just said it himself, and they were not best of friends for eight years that they were in power. Obasanjo as the president, he has the um, Tinubu as the governor. So like I said about Tinubu, I'm saying about Tinubu now that his ability to raise leaders is unmatched. Um, one of the things Ashiwaju taught me from a distance in life is, let me tell you this, everybody can hate because we hate strong men. And I appreciate that. I, I get that. Let me tell you. Ashiwaji is one of the things I will read, like few other leaders in Africa that I can mention. Um, I learned that you cannot decide to, you cannot wake up and decide to be a leader. It has to be made. Simple. That's all I would say. I don't expect anyone with shallow mind to understand what I just said. So it's fine. Now, now, I'm actually thinking of changing my candidate from Peter Obi. Do you know who I want to change it to? To who? Tunde Bakari. <laughs> that's, my, that's my leader. That's my person. People don't vex me. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry, Peter. I'll be people. I'm not going yeah. anywhere. You, you just mentioned a powerful name to me. That, that's my... Why? It may not be a presidency, but the name you just mentioned, the man of integrity, means well for Nigeria. That's my personal person. Again, wow. that may not presidency or not, but I have to mention, because you mentioned it, that presidency or not, that man has idea for Nigeria and is a good man for, for, for Nigeria. He's a good man. I know he's your guy. Just leave he is. He is. Just... Look, Daddy Freeze, Daddy Freeze, I'm, I'm right or die. <laughs> Anybody touch you now? All right. Anybody touch you? mentioned his strengths. Um, sadly, my biggest, my humble, personal disqualification for Tunde Bakari is, we know they say in one naira. Maybe I'm not where I might be able to see his one naira. I, and Do I don't mean... One naira from the Do you I see mean, one naira? You see, the election of tomorrow started 10 years ago. You will no say one do election. Baba, we're supposed to see your hand. Do you we're see the hand of hand. your candidate, Daddy Freeze? Eh? Your candidate, do you see his one Naira, your, the person you've been mentioning? No, we don't see <laughs> his one Naira. We don't see his one Naira, to be honest. But <laughs> bull. he's there. We, 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 you see, one thing with Peter Obi is, Peter Obi is on your skin. You can feel him. You can feel his pulse. The, it's like Peter Obi is like a, as like, like human beings, we get two hearts. Peter Obi in another heart. You go just do your belly, they beat. You go, no, say something, they, they beat. Boko, boko, boko. Peter Obi get pulse. 
Tunde Bakari, no, in my humble opinion, no, me, I'm not an analyst, I'm not a political analyst, but you can't, f then, you see, people like, like Atiku, for instance, we know they feel in pulse, the way we they feel will be pulse, but we they see in money, we they see, we they see wicked money, right. and we they feel right. in pulse. Sir. Sir. But, Sir. pastor, I feel neither his pulse nor his, by his money, I mean, the grassroots, let us say, okay, this is what, uh, Pastor Bakari did. This is what he did. We're just not feel uh, me personally, I'm not feeling it. I'm uh, sorry. But that's, that's but that's but that's the unfortunate part because he's done a lot. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it, it they were not projected things. And that's why I agree with you that a person must be willing to come out, be seen more. Is done. It, I, I can tell you a thousand and one things, and that's why I'm saying that he's a good person, good intention. Is got if you again, Africans will never research. So, all this saying that if we read about this, read about that, it's not gonna happen. So, <laughs> so let me just say that he's done a lot, he's tried his best. Um, projection wise, it's extremely weak. Um, it should have been, like you rightly said, it should have been a thing of years and years of showing I did this and letting people judge themselves. Yes, you can feel your candidate, you can, because he's been a governor before, uh, even though he didn't finish his tenure um, due to his principles, but he's done his thing. Atiku was the vice president of Nigeria, leader of the economic team for Nigeria. At the time that Nigeria thrived a lot, Nigeria did thrive a lot at that time. Um, um, Ashiwaju was the governor of Lagos and other things that followed. Peter B was a governor as well of Anambra and he did his best. He saved money for Anambra, which unfortunately another governor came to spend everything and squandered it. Um, so continuity is important. One governor came, chop money, collect slap. <laughs> Uh, but 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 that's how Nigeria works. His his wife is going to the Senate. His his wife has won the Senate ticket. The one that was slapped, she's won the Senate ticket. Nigeria, Nigeria is diverse. I will I will just say it that way. That slap and all that. That's internet people's talk. She's just won check. She's won the senatorial ticket for her constituency. Now, sorry, Pastor Toby. There's one person in this race that none of us has talked about, neither you nor me, or I mentioned him in passing, but I want right. to bring him to the burner. Showare. What is your take? I don't, I don't know him. It's just a few days ago I started hearing about um, a news. I think he has a blog or something. Is it a blog? Or is, it, is it a newspaper portal stuff? Right? Yes, newspaper portal uh, and... And all that. Many candidates. You you have people like um, Obona Yahono. You have Borofisi there. You have many people who, in their right, you have Pius and Pius. And I won't talk about PDP anymore because they have their flag bearer right now. So there are many people. Again, my question is: If somebody says, "I want to, I want to lead you," whatever walk of life they've been involved in, ask them. If it is media, did you establish a media school? Did you reach people? What were you doing? Activism is not the, because people just keep saying activism, activism. So I don't, I can't speak about someone I don't know. So it's not about um, you love or you hate. I'm not going to be just speaking about things. Mm. 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 Awesome. Now, Pastor Toby, I've put you on the grill almost the whole night. It's your turn. Put me on the grill. <laughs> Three things that will make you support a candidate. Three things. <sighs> Track record. Track now, record. Now, I want to say this. You asked what will make me support. Let me tell you what will not make me support. I okay. don't care about Age. As in, if you bring a 90-year-old man that can walk, I'll vote for him. I don't care about tribe. It has little consequence. I don't care about uh, 
whether they've been in government or not is unimportant, it's irrelevant. Even though that sometimes might help, especially with a track record. Three things for me. One, track record. Right. Uh, two, ideas. Right. Three, integrity. Right. Track record. All our three top candidates that we've been talking about today have them. Obi, Tinubu, Atiku. They all have track record. Okay. Great track record. Amazing track record. I agree. They also all have ideas. Tinubu in brain. As in, if they squeeze Tinubu brain, if mm. something drop, if you lick him, you go get idea. He's full of ideas. Same thing with Obi. Right. And same thing with Atiku. Now, yeah. integrity is one place where Peter Obi seems to have an edge. Mm. Integrity. He has no EFCC case. There's nothing you can hold him. They, they've tried to. They've tried to pour oil on his wife. The oil just they bounce come out. You know, they, he, yeah. he, it is hard to stain him. Now, if you look at Jagaban and the uh, article, there are mm. those, you know, sensational uh, news that splash on them from time to time. I'm not saying they don't have integrity, but they are not as clean, if I may say that, as spotless as Obi. Obi is spotless. Maybe, maybe, maybe not as clean as, as Joe Biden. <laughs> or is Johnson. Boris Johnson, Boris Johnson, how is he clean? Sorry, that, now not that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What leaders don't have those clean stuff that you're talking about? Because if you've ever tried to do something in your life, if you've ever taken risk, if you've ever pushed boundaries, ever, on any front, when mm. Joe Biden is contesting, it sums issue with Ukraine, which is still a problem till now. There are issues because only if you don't try to push boundaries do you have certain non-stain. Imagine it is Nigeria now saying that we will vote on because of non-stain. Nigeria. It is difficult in the world. That's why I said not maybe not as clean as my own prime minister here, Mr. Boris Johnson. I, that's just been um, being cheeky with you. I'm just saying that what leaders have issues because they've tried to push boundaries. If you see a man without issues, when he gets to that place, you will start seeing fresh issues. And that's why I'm saying we must be careful of trial and error. Deep. But please go on, sir. Sorry, sorry for pausing. Oh, you are the one grilling me. You know, I don't answer you. Three things. <laughs> because you are always the grill. Track... So sorry, track record. Track record. Track record. Track record, ideas, and integrity. Those are the three things for me. Perfect. One more question. Let me just say something here. Yeah? There's no one that can save Nigeria right now. Even from most comments now, you already see the state of Nigeria. Nigeria has only one destination that it's going to. When it reaches that destination, a complete overhaul will happen there's going to be a complete overhaul. So to think that this person is fresh enough to come and save us, is being naive. You have to be naive. We just need someone that can hold the steering from re reaching the, the, the rock bottom quick. That's all. But to think this person is clean enough to come and save us, it's been completely naive which is always the problem with Nigeria because already they think they know. People will be saying, hey, um, this, anyway, but they let me know, they are your followers, so I don't want to be rude to No, anybody. they are our followers, or so you two contributed to this live, your people to come. <laughs> so I'm just saying what did it, so my next question will be, you've mentioned track record, and I will stay with track record. Of all the three or four you've mentioned, who has the, the, highest track record. What do you think? Rate one to five. All those contesting now, track record wise. Track and record. please, and please be be be, be accurate, almost 
bit about what is track record? Track record wise, yes, it is going to be for me. It is going to be Tinubu Obi Atiku. No, no, you're going on the scale of one as number one track record is who? Number one track record is Tinubu. In okay. my you are too bold. That's why we do be. That's why we don't. That's why we don't like you. That's the free. Eh? Oh, that's why we pastors association of Africa don't like you. <laughs> no, no, no. Track record. I'm, the... I'm sorry, you. From my waiting, I see this Lagos, where I live. I give number one track record to Tinubu. Okay. I'm, you might not like me for it. Number two, Peter will be. Now, let me now say this. You see, you cannot compare the dynamics of Anambra to Lagos. It's like somebody racing Formula 1 and somebody racing Formula 3. Better example, heavyweight champion and a, a lightweight champion. You see, you cannot compare the economy of Enugu. Sorry, the economy of Alhambra. You cannot compare the population of Alhambra. You cannot compare the dynamics of Anambra to the dynamics of Lagos State. So, Tinubu had a very complex state and was able to leave something behind. You guys, you see, I got to, let me tell you, eh, when I first came to Lagos, I was staying in Dolphin Estate in 2002. Eh? I took, I wanted to make a past, what that pasta that has um, cheese, macaroni and cheese. So the only place where I could get the ingredients was pack and shop. The What you have today as Adeola Odeku was so bad that I had to park in front of BMW Koscharis with my sister and we had to walk from Koscharis to park and shop and walk back. I just say Adeogu which was the street to my office, was unmotorable. As in, my car could not pass it. I watched Lagos grow. You might, I, 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 maybe if Peter Obi had been in Lagos, maybe he might have done better. But comparing the growth of Lagos to the growth of Anambra, when it comes to track record, like I said, if it is integrity, I pick Peter Obi. But when it comes to track record, we have to give it to Tinubu. When it now, second, yeah, is Peter Obi, I will give Peter a track record over Atiku. Yes, Atiku okay. does have an amazing track record. We're not going to rob him of his economic inputs in the country. We're not going to rob him of his ideas. We're not going to rob him of the fact that he has the international connect and the know-how. But mm. track record for track record for mm. me is Tinubu Obi Atiku. Okay, that's that's powerful, that's bold. Before my last next question or next last question, people are saying that um Fashola did better than Tinubu says someone. I do, hope, I do hope I do hope that your son will do better than you, and I hope that won't make you useless. I'll just leave it at Anybody that mentions Fashola, just know that Fashola was Tinubu's track record. Okay. Tinubu had a sustenance plan for Lagos that even came as far as Ambody. And that's what some of us are saying about continuity. It's not one person that but builds a country. Track, rec track record, is, we, we, we can't argue that. Uh -huh. It will be fair on Tinubu if pitched against Obi and Atiku not to give him Anything else we can we can decide not to give him, but that track record, you, Yes, leadership, leadership puts a template in place. Your ability to have people to follow through that template. In Africa, it takes a bit of ruggedness to follow through a template because everybody wants to do their thing because everybody in Africa is wise. The only thing that is not wise in Africa is the outcome of their wisdom. <laughs> so so let me just leave that as that uh my last question of the last grill 
Did I call it Griota? You I'm said the... record Gris is your. You said track record is your thing, and someone is at number one. That da, da, da. so. You have the ballot paper in front of you now. You are about to decide on what is best for Nigeria, not what is best for your own feeling and what we think, who we think is the most integrity man. You're saying what is best for Nigeria. Where would you stamp your finger? Not again, please. Not um, who will win or who will not win. Not oh, let's just let anybody. What's best for Nigeria. I'm not obviously for anybody, guys. Let's use sense here. As, uh, Daddy Freeze, wait, oh, wait, Daddy Freeze. Daddy Freeze has asked me to speak about different people's strength, and I have done so. So don't say I'm with somebody. I've given everybody strength. So what is best for Nigeria now, and who can win? Where would you stamp your, your fingerprint? For Nigeria, and who can win are two different scenarios. Okay. Well, pick each of them. What is best for Nigeria without an iota of a doubt is Peter Obi. Okay. Right now, Nigeria needs Peter Obi. Okay. No, there's no, as far as I'm concerned, no debate. I'm converted. For tonight, I'm a cross campaign tomorrow morning. <laughs> Who can win? It's too early to decide, but we have very strong contenders. Online, we have Peter Obi. Offline, we still have a little bit of Peter Obi, but I believe a bit more of Atiku Tinubu. But Tinubu is not yet in. Atiku and whoever comes from APC. So who can actually win? It's too early to decide that. It would be between APC's eventual contender, Atiku, and Peter Obi. But if you ask me, from my humble understanding and my personal opinion, Nigeria needs Obi now. That's my take. I'm your convert now. I've converted. I've given my life to Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that that was good. I, I, I like your conviction. For me, again, we, we have one more life to do. I will beg you to do the life this time. I'm Pastor Toby. You don't need to beg me. Any life, I will tell you who will support it. And Ni Nigerians cannot intimidate me because I'm like, what's my own? Whoever you like, go and vote. You, you be, uh, God forbid that we all suffer. So I'm just saying that I like the way you've answered the questions. They are quite diplomatic. The, your answers are quite diplomatic and very online. My answers are not <laughs> diplomatical. My answers are <laughs> brutally honest. Um, I'm not... I, the fact that I love Peter Obi does not mean I'm blind to Tinobu or Atiku. I, I, I know that. I know, I know you... And I believe that whoever of them eventually gets the helm of affairs of, of this beautiful country deserves to be supported and encouraged. My candidate is Obi. He might not make it. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, I pray he does. And I pray that the way we are gingering online, if we ginger like that to the voting booth, then we really have nothing to complain about. However, we know that online gingering and thumbprinting gingering are often not the same thing. If you speak to, if you, if you speak to a, how do I put this now? An Easterner, what you will call Igbo, or what Nigerians will call Igbo, who do you think is their preferred candidate? Peter will be without a doubt. Okay, so I've spoken to many powerful um, Easterners. Some of them whom you know, one of them was still with me in this place a few weeks ago. Their candidate is Obona Yaono, and they are fighting, and many of them. So this is what I'm saying. There's Peter of what, what, 
party is Obona Yaono coming on. Sorry, forgive my ignorance. APC. Oh, you, you know these people can change tomorrow morning. Yeah, but you see, Obona Yaono cannot win Tinubu. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that in case we are mistaken and we're saying that because people are saying so, so online. No, I, I, every Easterner. People who have resources and numbers in the East. That has shown, has raised his head as the Labour Party flag bearer. I'm, I'm, I can tell you that 80% of Igbos have tilted to be now. Or if Obonaya now sir, wins the ticket, we we personally, that. Sir, when we finish this, this uh, is it called or uh, face, wherever we are now. When oh, we finish, oh. yeah, we finish this. Someone you know, you've spoken about the person last week. Pick the phone and say, why do you think Obonaya would would win? Hear them out because you know them. Many Nigerians may not have access to them, but you do. Ask them or her. Hmm. That's mm. all I would say. Ask, pick the phone, call them, and say, "What's your opinion?" Yeah. And maybe they would even come online. It's just that they are businessmen, so they will be afraid but to come. The problem online. with Obonaya Onu um, is, like I said, I'm ignorant of him. I don't know him well. I don't know his track record. And since for me, track record is very important, I will not put Obonaya Onu above Tinubu or Atiku. No, I'm aware of that will be track record and I'm, see his strength. Sadly, maybe because I'm not, I don't live in the East. Peter will be, I know his track record. Yeah, that's and, what I'm saying. And Tinubu, I know their track record. Obona that, Yaono, for me. That's, that's what I'm saying. So you, you, you will still do this again, Abi. Of course. So we need to size up the opinion of people who actually can make their their person win House of Rep or whatever. We need to size up their opinions as well. Somebody said Obonaya cannot win his father's compound. Why are people useless like this? Yeah, I, I, you're, they are probably right, but um, I'm just talking about the belief of some people. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. All right, PT. I'm done with the questioning. I'm waiting the next one. The, uh, the, let me, everybody right now, the next one will be crazy. I'm telling up. you, the next one will be straight up. There are questions that the freezer has asked me tonight and I avoided, and I'll tell you why in the next one. I'm not afraid to, um, to, to say anything. Never. God forbid. Anyway, I never had any intention to do any live on politics. This is the man that dragged me there. <laughs> <laughs> the accusation. I'm happy to because <laughs> now I'm learning a lot of what you're saying. So, um, you know, in this be... night, if anything happens, they'll just say, they'll not point me at it's him. It's him. Yeah, I was wondering to be careful of association with Pastor Tom because it's, it, it corrupts good manner. <laughs> so you 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 decided to go ahead. So we are both corrupted. <laughs> <laughs> no, people keep saying we've not spoken about God's will, Apabio, about Mechi. I don't think it's possible to speak about everybody in one night, though. I well, think that would be... Let's, you see, like, there's, there's one thing. These are the people that are trending. These are the people whose names we're hearing. Let's discuss them first. Then anybody else can trend. I mean, she can do something tomorrow. Look at Wiki. Wiki, Wiki is not one of the contenders because he's, not, he's lost the primaries. But guess what? He gave such a powerful... He uh, did. Um, he, had, he came with such powerful momentum that we, we would be unfair not to talk about him tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it did though. It did as funny as it looked. It, it came out powerful with money and all. Daddy Freeze, would you ever contest a political position? Big. <laughs> I don't know what if, that means, but that's my response. If, are calling for, if your people are calling for you, if your people need you to help them, would you say no to your people? 
I will say no because Nigeria is looking for who to displace. <laughs> no, unless as I'm coming in, IMF decides to give me fifty billion dollars or hundred billion dollars. Uh, 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 any, any House of Rep or Senate. You you'll be good in Senate though. Senate maybe. Exactly. You see, I'm converting that the freezer. You'll be good in Senate. You 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 are cerebral. You you bring good ideologies to the table. Nigeria needs you. Mm. 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 Pity. <laughs> we need to come back again. Thank you, we sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for honoring me on such short notice because even though this was your idea, the timing was my idea. And yeah. um, thank you for honoring it and um, thank you for showing up. And me and you, our, our talk continues off camera. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. thank Let's you. switch. Camera. Oh, thank you. You all. Thank you. Thank you. Backhead small. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Toby Adegboega of Spark Nation, wonderful having him here um, and him having me. We're both on the burner, on the grill at the same time, and um, quite a lot came out of it. I hope you enjoy the video. What is your take? Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Daddy Freeze Teaches. I'm also live on Facebook daddy freeze this has been an amazing political discourse if you enjoyed it make sure um you hit the like button you smash the like button uh this time tomorrow i'm going to be on with the black mentor he had a very successful outing uh 98 people showed up for his master class and um he's going to be teaching people how to make money, how to make millions, especially abroad. So join us 11.30 p.m. this same time tomorrow. The Black Mentor is going to be live here with us. In the meantime, I'm Daddy Freeze. It's been so wonderful hanging out with you guys. Do take care of yourselves and see you during the day tomorrow. Um, if you enjoy scripture teachings. I'm going to be teaching during the day. So please look out for that. Take care. God bless.